For more full-length stories like this, follow the Swiftly to Sleep podcast on Spotify. Hi there, and welcome to Swiftly to Sleep. My name is Evie, and tonight I'll read you a short, simple story that's just interesting enough to stop your brain from buzzing and to help you drift swiftly to sleep. The idea for tonight's story was the patrons of a tea shop. So, before we get started, let's begin by making ourselves comfortable, closing our eyes and taking a deep breath in and out. Great job. Now that we're ready, let's begin. In a small town, there were several people who all had a love for tea. Each day, they would gather at the local tea shop to enjoy a warm cup of tea and share stories with one another. There was Mary, a retired school teacher who loved to sip on Earl Grey tea while reading a good book. She was always eager to share her latest literary findings with her friends at the tea shop. Next, there was John, a hard-working farmer who came to the tea shop every day after a long day's work. He enjoyed a strong cup of black tea to help him relax and unwind. Then there was Sarah, a young entrepreneur who always had a busy schedule. She would often rush into the tea shop to grab a quick cup of green tea to go while discussing her latest business ideas with her friends. Finally, there was Michael, a stay-at-home dad who loved to take his time with a cup of chamomile tea. He would often bring his young children to the tea shop where they would enjoy a warm cup of tea together as a family. Despite their different backgrounds and interests, these friends all shared a common love for tea. They would sit and chat for hours, enjoying each other's company and the warmth of the tea shop. They formed a close-knit community always there for one another in good times and bad. As the years passed, the tea shop became more than just a place to enjoy a warm cup of tea. It was a place where friendships were forged and memories were made, all over a simple cup of tea. As the group of friends sat sipping their tea, Mary couldn't help but share one of her latest literary findings. I just finished reading this wonderful book about a young girl who goes on a journey of self-discovery, Mary said. Her eyes shining with excitement. She travels to different parts of the world, trying different teas 
and meeting new people along the way. The others listened intently as Mary recounted the story of the young girl's adventures. They laughed as she shared the girl's humorous encounters and gasped in surprise as she revealed the girl's unexpected discoveries. It sounds like such an incredible journey, John said, taking a sip of his black tea. Yes, it was, Mary replied. And the best part is that the girl learned that it's not about the destination, but about the journey and the people you meet along the way. Everyone sat in silence for a moment, contemplating Mary's words. They all glanced around the tea shop at the familiar faces and the warm atmosphere. I suppose that's true, Sarah said, smiling. I never thought about it that way, but this tea shop is like our own little journey. We've been meeting here for years, trying different teas and sharing our stories. The group nodded in agreement feeling grateful for the journey they had shared together. And as they sipped their tea, they knew that they would continue to travel this journey together, one cup of tea at a time. As the group sat and chatted, Sarah couldn't help but reflect on her busy life as an entrepreneur. She had always been determined to succeed, but sometimes, she felt like she was missing out on the simple pleasures in life. You know, I've been so focused on building my business that I've forgotten to take a step back and enjoy the little things, Sarah said, taking a sip of her green tea. The group listened attentively as Sarah shared a story from her past. I remember when I first started my business, I was so determined to make it successful that I was working nonstop. I would even bring my work to the tea shop and work on it while I was here with all of you. But one day, I was so exhausted that I fell asleep at the tea shop and I missed the best part of the conversation. I realized then that I needed to find a balance between work and enjoying life. The group nodded in understanding. They could relate to the feeling of getting caught up in the hustle and bustle of life. I learned that it's important to take a step back and enjoy the little things, like a warm cup of tea and good company, Sarah continued. I'm glad I have this tea shop and all of you to remind me of that. The group smiled, feeling grateful for their friendship and the tea shop that had brought them together. They knew that no matter how busy their lives got, they could always count on their time at the tea shop to remind them of the importance of balance and enjoying the simple things in life. As the group sat in comfortable silence, enjoying their tea, Michael couldn't help but share a tale that had been on his mind. You know, I was thinking about the time when my children were young, and I used to bring them to the tea shop, Michael said with a smile. They loved coming here. They loved the warm atmosphere and the smell of different teas. The group listened intently as Michael recounted the story of how his children grew to love tea just as much as he did. My kids would always
always choose the most unusual and sweetest teas and would always want to try something new every time we came here, Michael said. It was always fun to see their excitement when they tried something new and loved it, or when they didn't like something and would make a face. The group laughed, remembering the times when Michael's children were little and used to come to the tea shop. Those were the days. I miss them being little, Michael continued, but I'm grateful for the memories and the time we spent together here. This tea shop will always have a special place in our hearts. The group smiled, feeling grateful for the memories they shared and the moments they had spent together in the tea shop. They knew that no matter how much time passed, the tea shop would always be a special place where memories were made and friendships were strengthened. As Michael finished his story, John couldn't help but reflect on the memories of Michael's children at the tea shop. It reminded him of his own children and the special moments he shared with them over a cup of tea. You know, Michael, your story reminded me of when my own kids were young, John said taking a sip of his black tea. I used to bring them to the tea shop after a long day of work on the farm. It was a nice way to unwind and spend some quality time with them. The group listened intently as John shared his own tale of memories with his children. He spoke of the way his children would always be excited to try new teas and how they would tell him about their day at school over a warm cup of tea. Those were some of the best times of my life, John said with a smile. I'm grateful for the memories and the time I spent with my children at this tea shop. The group nodded, feeling a sense of nostalgia and gratitude for the memories they shared. They knew that the tea shop held a special place in their hearts, not only as a place to enjoy a warm cup of tea, but also as a place where memories were made and families came together. As the group finished their tea, they all knew that no matter how much time passed, the tea shop would always be a special place where they could come together, share stories, and make memories that would last a lifetime. As the group sat and chatted, enjoying their tea, the man who owned the tea shop, Mr. Lee, walked over to join the conversation. I couldn't help but overhear your stories about the tea shop and your memories here, Mr. Lee said with a smile. It warms my heart to know that this little shop has brought so many people together and has become a special place in your hearts. The group smiled, feeling grateful for the tea shop and the role it played in their lives. They thanked Mr. Lee for creating such a wonderful place. You know, I opened this tea shop with the intention of creating a space where people could come together and enjoy a warm cup of tea, Mr. Lee said. But I never imagined it would become such a special place in so many people's lives. The group nodded, understanding the feeling. They knew that Mr. Lee's love for tea and his dedication to creating a warm and welcoming atmosphere were what made the tea shop so special. I'm so grateful to have all of you as regular customers, 
Mr. Lee continued. Your friendship and loyalty mean the world to me. I feel like we are a big family here. The group smiled. feeling a sense of belonging and community. They knew that the tea shop was much more than just a place to grab a cup of tea. It was a place where friendships were formed. Memories were made. And a sense of community was felt. They raised their cups in a toast to Mr. Lee. To the tea shop. And to the memories they shared. For the best and full listening experience, follow Swiftly to Sleep on Spotify. Sleep well. Thank you.